this is our new impulse winding tester uh, this is uh, with this equipment you can measure impulse winding along with uh, inductance dc resistance uh, and it also has four channel scanner where uh, you can load the predefined test data file connect the coil and start testing it tests compares with the limits and checks whether it is pass or fail as you can see here this is uh, measuring inductance between channel 1 and 2 this is the measured inductance in case if it is within the tolerance it gives ok like that you have a DC resistance and this is impulse winding if you also wanted to see the waveforms you can check it over here this is for uh, channel 1 to 2 this is 3 to 4 like this you have two waveforms now I'll uh, show you how to program for a coil you press setup over here you have a functions what you want to select DCR this is channel 1 that is start of start I've given as channel 1 and as channel 2 over here is the expected value this is lower limit upper limit in case if you don't know you can directly measure by pressing measure button this is the measured value you please enter this and this value will be inserted over here and accordingly upper and lower will be adjusted with reference to the standard value in the same way if you go down you have this modes this is uh, medium mode fast mode and slow mode in case if you wanted to give delay for measuring DC resistance you can set time here see usually what happens is there will be a high inductance coils where uh, DC resistance may require some time so for that particular coils you can uh, give a time limit where uh, it will wait for some time and test that and if you want now I'll show you inductance it's the same way only thing is parameter changes this is between channel 1 and 2 this is inductance at what frequency that you want to measure and this is a test voltage and it's the same way like what you have showed you in DC resistance where in case if you know the standard value you can punch in or you can simply press measure it will give you the measured value if you feel that is ok press the button for selecting it and these are the limits and this is the speed now I will go for impulse this is an impulse one this is uh, the same way what I have showed you previously that selection of channel 1 to 2 at what voltage you want to check impulse and this is suppose if you want in this place you want to select the standard waveform press standard sample start this is the waveform now you go back compare para over here you have a selections of area size differential area corona phase difference you select this area size over here you have a selection for selecting the waveform I mean suppose if you can see this line only this waveform will be compared with standard this is the way how we select it and this is the limit what is the deviation limit that is over here I have given us 10 percent that means that in case if the deviation is within 10 percent it will give you a pass it's the same way for differential area after selecting it you simply go measure test now I'll show you what happens if it shows as a fail I'm disconnecting one coil for your idea 
see over here three and four see three and four i've given it as ground that's a common thing three and four is disconnected three and four three and four three and four that particular coil has failed because of physically disconnected Show you again. That's how it works. See, this equipment also has an optional handler interface. Uh, with this handler interface, uh, you can connect to a PLC or uh, any pneumatic operation where uh, this equipment gives a digital uh, signal output when uh, you have a pass or a fail, and it also takes an uh, uh, external trigger option.